Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you six different ways to open settings in Windows 10. Nice little refresher. Maybe there's a couple here you didn't know about. Or maybe there's a way you can access settings when you need to differently than you already do. So let's take a look at what we have. One of my favorites, because I love keyboard shortcuts, is the Windows key plus I. Just press those two at the same time. Or press Windows key, then I. It'll do the same thing. So that's kind of the same time. So I hold the Windows key and quickly hit I. There you go. Click on Start. If you've been using Windows for a long time, you're used to accessing the Control Panel the same way. Start Control Panel. Same thing in Windows 10. Start. Get the gear icon. And you're in Settings. The Windows Power Menu. You find that with the Windows Key Plus X. Hopefully you've discovered that because you can quickly get at other settings, including, as you can see right here, Apps and Features, Power, computer management, etc. Nice little shortcuts and, of course, PowerShell. So again, Windows key plus X, settings. Action Center. Let's go over here in the bottom right corner. And as you know, or I'm sure you know, sharing, project, VPN, network, tablet mode, and you probably have different things in here depending on your computer, but we're looking for all settings. That's the one place it's named a little differently. All settings. File Explorer. Maybe you already have File Explorer open. You want to jump to settings. You can actually just look for this PC right here. Usually has your, if you didn't change anything, your 3D objects, desktop, documents, downloads, stuff like that right below it. And your drives. So you have this PC highlighted. All you got to do is click right here on the computer tab. And up pops open settings there you go and just like that we're at number six this one's a little different if you like to use the run command I put this in bold so you don't miss that there's a colon here at the end semicolon yeah so let's put that in I say that right I'm pretty sure I did ms dash s e t t i n g s colon just like that press enter or click on OK and here it comes Ta -da. and there you go six five four three two one hopefully one of those will be something you hadn't heard of before and something you can make use of in the future bottom right corner major geeks logo click that somewhere over here I don't know you can subscribe if you'd like to follow this tutorial somewhere up here and in the video description, as always, there's a little eye up here. If you expand that eye, you can click and jump over to the tutorial. And the video will actually be embedded right here by the time I get done with this video and upload it and blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching, as always. See ya.